welcome you all to this interesting video series that we have started for quick review of uh, relevant topics which are very frequently asked in entrance exams like USMLE and NEET PG and today's topic is hereditary spherocytosis so let us start with this Now as we know that RBC are having a cell membrane and this cell membrane is having a cytoskeleton structure or what you can say that uh, there are some proteins which make the framework of this cell membrane and such cytoskeletal proteins in this cell membrane are involved uh, in hereditary spherocytosis so if these proteins are defective then it will result into loss of cell membrane and this will result into a low surface area and volume ratio and that will make this RBC more spherical and that is known as spherocytosis and as we know that RBC's normal shape is uh, by it is a concave in shape by concave right now MCV mean corpus color volume is low MCHC is increased but the osmotic fragility is very high and this is a very important finding why because if osmotic fragility is high that means cells are liable to lysis it is an autosomal dominant disorder so inheritance is autosomal dominant and the most common cytoskeleton protein of RBC cell membrane involved or defective is spectrin so spectrin is the most common membrane protein which is defective in case of hereditary spherocytosis spleen will be enlarged because it has to deal with lots of uh, uh, one and torn rbc so there will be a splenomegaly and it is a very conspicuous finding there will be definitely anemia due to lysis of rbc and hemolytic jaundice so splenomegaly anemia and jaundice all three are seen in case of hereditary spherocytosis what could be the treatment in such case splenectomy if you remove the spleen you are actually uh, not destroying the defective RBC and that will lead to increase uh, in survival of RBC and this is to be done if patient is symptomatic so all symptomatic cases will have splenectomy so if you like our videos do subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to click on the bell button so splenectomy will ultimately increase RBC survival and decrease the anemia but when would this splenectomy is contraindicated in case of hereditary spherocytosis in case of a young patient 
whose age is less than four years that means especially in case of children now why so because spleen is involved in protecting the child from capsulated bacteria if you remove the spleen the child will have capsulated bacterial infection which can lead to sepsis and bacteremia and this we do not want that's why uh, we don't do splenectomy in a very young child thank you